but at the moment of truth say, everything that happened to this point doesn't matter, it's about the moment. And you seem to do that in the fourth quarter. How important was it to you, forget the first 36 minutes, the four fouls, to make it right at the finish? Uh, <clears throat> I feel like the fourth quarter is what really matters. Um, you know, I do not want to, let's not get this twisted, I do not want that to happen every game. Well, I gotta, <laughs> well, I gotta play like that. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. Um, we preach that to each other all the time. And, you know, my teammates was giving me a ball on the fourth. I was making plays, getting fouled, getting to the line, making free throws. It's the, the Tyler or, or Bam, whichever one wants to answer. But what does it say about the depth of this team that you could have a guy like Max who doesn't score through the first three quarters, barely plays, and, and scores 16 in the fourth? Uh, you know, Max always stays ready, you know. Um, you know, whether he plays 10 straight games or like you've seen tonight, you know, he wasn't in the rotation in the first half and he, he stays ready. Um, he doesn't let her let it bother him. And um, that's just, you know, a testament to his hard work. You know, he works hard at, you know, every single day comes in no matter what, what his playing time looks like. And like, you know, like Bam said, he stays ready. Um, you know, that's our motto. Next man up, everyone stays ready. And, um, you know, I'm happy for Max. Tyler, what the heck did they put in your sports drink after the first quarter that every second quarter now for eight straight games, you've gotten at least 12 points? What is it when the when the one changes to a two on the quarters that it just has been happening now for over two weeks? Um, there's some juice that, you know, we can't tell you, you know, about that I drink. Um, so just make sure, um, you know, you look for the drink that I'm drinking at the end of the first quarter. You'll see it. Um, it's my special drink. Yeah. And, and just the fact of the play, is it just a matter of like you realize that the second quarter is jolt time, let the, the veterans and the starters get their little bit of rest? I mean, what, what turns like almost on a dime every single game? Um, I mean, you know, the second quarter, you know, I have a little time where it's, you know, it's just, you know, my unit on the court and I'm able to to make plays and, you know, the ball's in my hand a lot, you know, and then once Bam and, you know, Jimmy and Kyle get back in the game, it's a little bit different, but um I mean, we have a, a bunch of guys on the team that can contribute in different ways. So, you know, the way the rotation works, um, you know, it works for everybody. Uh, do you always talk about embracing contact and trying to get to the line. Uh, in the second quarter, when things were kind of struggling offensively, it seemed like you were really looking for the foul to draw the foul inside the lane. Was that kind of the case? Was it just a mental thing that you were going to try to get to those spots? I'm um, just trying to be aggressive, um, getting to the rim, trying to put some pressure on the defense. Um, and I was getting there, you know, pretty easy. So they had to follow me and then um, was able to make some free throws. Uh, Tyler, what do you think uh, your comfort level is at growing wise this year? Just with, um, you know, Bam's been out with injuries. Jimmy's been out with injuries. Kyle's been away. And <clears throat> the team's had to rely a lot more upon you. What's your comfortability level growth like this year with that? Um, I'm, I'm real comfortable. Um, you know, my teammates and coaches, you know, trust me, you know, with the ball. Um, they trust me to make plays and, um, you know, I'm comfortable, you know, playing on or off the ball on um, whatever, whatever the team needs. I'm going to go via Zoom to Donovan Campbell. Bam or Tyler, can you talk about the team's knack for drawing charges? Um, you guys have over 100 drawn charges on the season. The second team probably has like 50 something. That's just crazy. Just your knack of toughness for doing that as a team, drawing charges. Uh we, we sacrifice our bodies for one another at the end of the day. You know, that's how you know it, it, it means that much to us that, <clears throat> you know, a lot of guys, when they take charges, get bumps, bruises, uh, you know, need, elbow. So the fact that we all, you know, sacrifice our body for, for one thing, and that's the win, you know, that's our connection. That's what we're built off of. <clears throat> and that's why we have a hundred and something charges. All right, we'll take another one from Cristo Saltas. My dog. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bam. Hey, Tyler. <laughs> what a Kentucky connection right there. Well, I would like to ask you, both of you, how good this team can be until the end of the regular season? And those type of wins, how confidence booster, what kind of confidence booster for you are those type of wins? Uh, I feel like if Cal keeps being a floor general, you know, Tyler keeps being sixth man of the year. Jimmy keeps being Jim VP, and I keep being DPOY. I feel like uh, it's uh, this uh, this team has no ceiling. 
<clears throat> in my opinion. Um, you know, we can we can be one of the best teams in, in this league um, when we're all clicking, we're all connected, and we're all playing together and having fun. All right, guys, thank you. Hope to see you more, Christos. <laughs> Black Lives Matter, people. DPOY, six man out. <laughs>